happened to say, and you know, we got a lot of people on the at this rally tonight who were from the Pickens Army. We got a lot of people at this rally tonight who were from the Sierra Club. And I want to say to all of you, you know, I enjoy talking with Boone. I enjoy working with Boone. But I think the fact that Boone and I agree about this is not such good news, because the only reason he and I disagree about most political things, the reason we agree about this is because our politics is so badly broken that something as commonsensical as fixing foreign oil hasn't been able to move forward. And I look forward to the day when we fix foreign oil, and Boone and I can go back to disagreeing about things again. Well, because you're fun to argue with. Well, them. see, I'm no longer political, Carl. I had to become uh, nonpartisan, out of the race, and all. And B, I've had people that have wanted to partner with me on this. Even some, believe it or not, want to help me pay for it. And I've said, no, I I can't be the Lone Ranger that I have to be and promote this idea and be able to solve the energy problem for America if I've influenced from either the right side or the left side. So I'm right down the middle road, believe it or not. Okay. I may not ever get in politics again. Well, that's, uh, that's one of the questions that was asked. One of the viewers asked, have you thought about getting involved politically in the presidential race? You've answered this one. Alton Reiser now wants to know, and we've talked about this, but maybe you'd like to add a little bit, has the issue of building a transmission grid to access this wind energy been resolved? You were talking about that earlier. Well, it hadn't been resolved, and we, I think we answered that question. It's going to have to be resolved by Congress uh, early in, uh, in, the, in this administration coming up. And I think it's a very exciting opportunity because you realize if we build this grid, it won't just be a matter of building new transmission lines. We need to modernize the whole grid. Right. I mean, we really need to have a system, as you say, a 21st century uh, power system, and right now, I mean, I'm not entirely sure we have a late 20th century system. Well, I agree. A lot, of it, a lot of it goes back to the first half of the 20th century. Well, it's it's the weakest. I was in a meeting today of experts, and one of them said it's uh, it's uh, it's weaker than uh, than any country in the world, including uh, the weakest of all. We are we have the most out of date system of anybody. Well, I was... Uh, but see, was, you know, you get credit for some of that. I get credit for some of that? Sure. They, people tell me, said, you know, Carl Pope, Sierra Club, they won't let any of this happen. They won't let you have a grid. You know what I'm talking about. You, They've stuck you with, with some of the... the well, you know, I've been, I've been executive director of the Sierra Club now since 1993, and I have to approve every single intervention we take to sue against the public facility I don't think in my entire 13 years we've opposed the transmission line. But that is, Carl, that is the image of the Sierra Club. I mean, people think, I'm telling you what people No, I understand. I understand. Yeah. And I understand. people say that to me, and I said, no, that's not right. I said, yeah, well, because Carl explained to me what he was doing in California, right. and you were trying to get it done. And they said, well, I don't believe that. And I said, well, I do believe that, because I said, Carl's an honest guy. Well, you know, we had an interesting experience in, in, uh, in Missouri. Uh, two years ago, we were very upset about a coal-fired power plant that was being built by Kansas City Power and Light. They didn't have a permit, but they built half the plant, so we sued them, and a the judge said, well, you really need a permit, and then they sat down with it and said, what can we do? And we said, well, look, go ahead and finish your plant, but commit to a bunch of wind. I can't read it. Commit to a bunch of wind in addition, and then let's work together going forward to get Kansas and Missouri green power. They agreed to that. And right now, on the ballot in Missouri this year, there's going to be a state measure to encourage renewable power. And for the first time in American history, it's being supported by both the Sierra Club and the biggest public utility in the state of Missouri. That's, that's, pro that's progress. That what, is real progress. What is it going to be, 20 percent? It's 20 percent. It's 20 okay. percent. Do uh, you not think that that's going to happen on a federal level? I think that's going to happen on a federal level. We were one vote short on having it happen at a federal level this year, and I think in the next Congress we'll get it done. I think that will be a very rapid, that will move through the Senate and the House, I think, in the first 100 days of the next administration. That would be good. That would be good. 